Alright, alright, shalom, shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Abinawi Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Alright. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone stone who rule and uh, teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopefully let <clears throat> and to the Akim out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice. As the scriptures tells them, tells them to do so. I want to say shalom to you, brothers. Keep up the good fight of faith and continue to spread the gospel, the good news. <clears throat> All right. Um, to the Akwafters out there, which is the sisters out there listening and learning in silence. All right. And reverencing their husbands if they have one at home. Okay. <clears throat> I want to say shalom to you, sisters, as well, too. Okay. And to the believers out there. All right, <clears throat> across the uh, across the earth, I want to say shalom to you as well. As you can see on the screen, all right, <clears throat> it says, "I've come to believe that we are integrating into a burning house." In parentheses, America, and as you can see, the quote <clears throat> of your leader, <laughs> of of what of of the world's leader, <clears throat> Martin Luther the King. All right, and um, which he's really a, is a, is a false prophet, man. All right, and his dream was really turned into a nightmare, man, for for us, man. Right, and what was his what was a part of his dream, right? <clears throat> Integration, man. All right, integration and being able to assimilate in with this devil, man, all right, our enemies, okay, as the scriptures say, though, though hand join the hand, let's pull that up right quick, bear with me, right, this is Proverbs 11 and 21, it says, though hand join in hand, the wicked should not be unpunished, all right, but the seed of the unrighteous shall be delivered, right? So what this <clears throat> what this devil, which that word devil really turns into the word deceiver, what he did was deceived us into thinking that if we joined hands <clears throat> with our enemies, right, we'd be better off. Okay. And <clears throat> this devil really, this this deceiver, all right, this charlatan really, you know, uh, uh, knew that he was leading us into a burning house, man. Okay. And that house being America. Okay. That's, that's exactly what he knew that he was doing. All right. So the, the, the scriptures warned us about <clears throat> the, the, uh, these false prophets, you know, having a dream. Okay. He, he, they, the scriptures warned us about this. If you go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25, and read alone, all right, let me get there. This Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25 says this. It says, I have heard what the prophet said. It says, the, the prophecy lies in my name saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed, right? And that's what this dude, <clears throat> Martin Luther King Jr., one of his one of his uh, mo most famous speeches was, all right? That I have a dream speech, right? Hey, man, you are, he was a false prophet, man. And the scriptures say it's, it, he, he's lied in, in the Lord's name, all right? Man, what was his dream? Hey, the little black boys and little white girls and black boys and white boys and white boys and black girls, whatever it is, you know, can all join hand in hand, right? And be all one, okay? Right? So that was a false dream, man. That dream turned into a nightmare, okay? And more so a nightmare for his people, all right? 
and we're suffering the consequences of integration to this day. Okay? Let's read it on. It says, uh, verse 26 says this, How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Right? And that was a big lie, man. Right? And it was never told for us to join hand in hand with our enemies, man. Right? If anything, the Lord was telling us to separate, all right, and 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 don't be not partakers of, of our enemies, man. Why? Because our enemies was going to cause us to go astray. Okay? Verse 26 says, How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. Yeah, that means... <clears throat> They there for their own purpose. They there for their own gain. All right? They there for their own benefit, right? On what's going to benefit them, right? And they family. Not his people. And what do you see today? You see him being revered, revered as an idol. Okay? How? By Martin Luther King Day. Right? Venerating his birthday. Okay, and celebrate and celebrating his birthday, right? But he, he but he sold his people out to become an idol. Pretty much to hey to pretty much become a god. Okay? The scripture say it, it tells you about uh false prophets saying, I have a dream, I have a dream, right? But he wasn't, he wasn't the prophet that, you know, he was a prophet to, to, for us to show, hey, the Lord showed us, hey, stay away from this man. Okay? All right, let's go to Lamentations uh, chapter 2, verse, verse 14. Right? Lamentations chapter 2, verse 14 says this. The prophets have said, I mean, have seen vain and foolish things for thee. Right? And it was a vain and foolish thing, all right, <clears throat> for this so-called dream, right, of integration, right? B why? Because before integration, it was segregation. Guess what? We had our own restaurants. We had our own businesses, all right? We had our own parks, and we flourished, man. Why? Because the dollar circled in our, in our community, man, the way it was supposed to be. Right? We, it, it circled at least 30, 40 times before the dollar was taken outside of the community. Okay? So it benefited us more so than it benefited, okay, everybody else. All right? So his dream was really a nightmare. His dream was really to assimilate us into America, right? So we can furthermore, furthermore be slaves into this system. Okay? To, 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 to put for the for, for this devil to put his foot more up our ass. You see what I'm saying? Reading on, it says, Lamentations 2 and 14 says, The prophet, the prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thine iniquity. Right? It says, To turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee false burdens and causes of banishment, right? And that's what's, that's what's going on. All right? Hey, these prophets ain't discovering and, and showing our people their sins. The iniquity, as the scriptures just said. All right? If anything, hey, hey our people want to hear smooth things. And Mar hey, Mar he was supposed to be a reverend. He, he wasn't letting the people know that they were the Israelites and telling them to repent from their sins and come back to the Heavenly Father. Uh, okay, under the law, statutes, commandments, to the best of their ability, right? Hey, the scriptures preach uh, segregation, man, right? And he was doing the total opposite, right? And to be the opposite is what to be an adversary, man, of the Lord. Okay, and that's what it, and that's what he was doing. Okay, he wasn't being he he wasn't going thus said the Lord. Okay, he was doing opposite. He was telling us to integrate while the scriptures tells us what? To segregate. Okay? 
So this is how you know, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, two, that's why two-thirds of our people got to be put to death, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because they cause us to err, man. All right? Let's go back to, um, matter of fact, let's go to uh, Jeremiah 14 and 14. Right? <clears throat> and the scriptures warn us about these false prophets, man. They not they they these false prophets is not okay. It's for their own gain, man. It's for their own belly, man. All right, Jeremiah fourteen and fourteen says, "Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. The Lord said He didn't send them, man. Okay, it said, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. And hey, the Lord ain't speaking to them. It says." They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught, right? That word naught goes into nothing, right? And that's what happened. He prophesied a false vision, right, through his dream, right? And it came to nothing. How did it come to nothing? Because we are worse off now than we ever were. we worse off now than we ever were. Okay. We, wo we worse off now than we ever were. Hey, didn't the scripture say in Deuteronomy uh, 28 about the curses? Hey, that he was going to put, that our enemies was going to put a, a yoke of on upon our neck until he had destroyed thee, man. All right. Let's get that, actually. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 28. I believe it's um, 48. Right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. It says this. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Right? So in hunger, we're going to go to our enemies for. For water, we going to our enemies, man. When you pop up over that seal of that, uh, 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 that spring water, whatever it is, hey, that, that, that's our enemy. Okay? And nakedness which is your clothing, we go to our enemies, man, for to, uh, to be dressed. It says, and in want of all things, we go to our enemies for everything we need and want, man. All right? It said, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And if you Google right now, if you Google yoke of arms, a uh, yoke of iron upon, uh, uh, upon thy neck, who going to show up, man? Hey, the so-called black man gonna show up, man, in chattel slavery. No other, no other nation. Okay. And he and, and, and guess what? Like I said, we more destroyed now than we ever was. That's why we don't we don't have to, we don't need the yokes upon our necks anymore. Why? Because he got our mind. Because I, I we spiritually we, we are destroyed, right? He took the mind and the spirit and kept the strong body. Why? So we can continue to be, to be slaves in this system, man, in this house, which is America, right? We're dead, man. We're spiritually dead, just like Revelations 11 and 8 said, all right? Our, our dead bodies, right, shall lie in that great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, right? And so this is why the, the, the yokes of iron is, is, is off our necks now, all right? And instead of us being in chattel slavery now, now we're being uh, uh, subject to payments, man, as a, as a debt slave, right? <clears throat> so we, we're being subject to payments, man. Okay, as the scriptures say. All right, uh, that's in um, Baruch. All right, if you get Baruch chapter 3 in the uh, Apocrypha, right? Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Let me get that <clears throat> right quick. Right? This is Baruch chapter 3, verse 8 says this. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. And that's so true. Right? To this day right now, man, we are still in our captivity. All right? Thanks to that dream Martin Luther King had. Right? He, he, hey, he wanted us. They, they fought for equality when the Lord set us above all the, as a holy people and, and set us above all the nations of the earth. 
But here we here it is. We fighting for equality. All right, we fighting for a motherfucking bone in this damn devil's uh, kingdom, man. Right, but we'll never surpass this devil, man. We'll never be equal into, uh, with this devil in his kingdom, man. Right, there will always be a gulf. As the scriptures say about, uh, about the uh, story of Lazarus, there'll always be a big gulf in between us, man. We'll never catch up to this devil. We'll never be equal or surpass him in this kingdom, right? That's why this has to be destroyed, man. All right, America has to be destroyed, man, in order for us to, to get be back sovereign, man. Okay? We're not sovereign, man. All right. So the scriptures say Baruch chapter three, verse eight says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. All right. Right. The Lord Deuteronomy 28, 40, uh, 40, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 64. Hey, the Lord scattered us among all the nations. Right. OK. It says. For a report, a reproach and a curse. Right. And we became a reproach. Uh, and the curse, a proverb and a byword, man, amongst the uh, amongst these other nations. Okay, nigga, spick, right? You still a nigga, no matter what. It says this, and to be subject to payments. What's subject to payments, man? Hey, debt slaves, man. So instead of the yokes of iron upon our neck, now what? Hey, man, we slavery. We are slavery to to, to interest rates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We are, we are slave to uh, getting up and going to work every goddamn day. All right? So we worse off now than we ever were. On earth. At least then we we, we understood, in child of slave, we understood who he was and who we where we really came from. All right? Now we lost. We dead. Okay? And it's only through the grace of the spirit of power, Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, he's waking us up and giving us these giving us that breath, man. Right? He resuscitated us, right? Spiritually resuscitated us and woke us up. All right, and made us live. All right. His elect. His hopeful elect. Okay. So right, right now, we we subject to payments, man. Right? So, so, so thanks for that uh that dream. All right, this devil, this devil, Martin Luther King, Luther the King had. All right. Hey, it was for his own game, man. Okay. Let's see. I got another scripture. Um, let's go to, uh, and our people so dumbed down and, and so despicable. You see what I'm saying? They don't even know when they be being rocked to sleep. Why? Because they want to hear smooth things, right? Let's get Isaiah 30. Yeah, let's get Isaiah chapter 30, and we can start at 12. Right? This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 12. It says, Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, right? Because ye despised this word. Hey, man, we despise the, Lord, the words of the Lord. Okay? It says, and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay their own. And that's exactly what happened, right? When it came to this integration, man, we trusted in oppression. Oppression. Why? Because we trusted in our oppressors, man. And to thinking that what? That they was going to give us equal rights. Hey, man, this devil has never been a stand-up guy. He's never been a stand-up man. And his track record... Okay, says, says so, right? Look what he did to the so-called Native Americans, man, right? All those treaties that he was supposed to um, uh, acknowledge, man, right? Six, over 600 or something, uh, 600 uh, treaties, man, right? He didn't, he didn't acknowledge not one of them, man, right? He broke all of the treaties, man, okay? So-called reparations... For the soil, the 40 acres in the mule, man. After chattel slavery. Not that, and to this day, we don't have that. 
So what makes us think, or what what did he, what made him think that he could come in with a, a dream, which really turned out to be a nightmare, right? And what what makes you think, hey, has, the scripture say, has a leper changed his spots? Okay, so this devil is going to be who the Lord made him to be. He made him to be the, the vessel of dishonor. Okay, the scripture say, how, how could you make something uh, straight that the Lord made crooked? Roughly paraphrased. Okay. Hey, the scripture told us, trust not thy enemies, man. Don't trust thy enemy, man. All right? Let's read this again. It says, Isaiah chapter uh, 30, verse 12 says, Wherefore, thus says the Lord, Holy, the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression. That's what our people did. All right? Well, all alone, this motherfucker was leaving, leading us into a burning house, man. Leading us right into a, bur a burning house, man. Being America. That house being America. Okay, it says, and stay there on. Verse 13 says this. Therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, right? Swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant, right? And that's what happened to us, man. Hey, we trusted in oppression, man. So, hey, guess what? Our enemies came in as a flood, and guess what? Destroyed us, man. And they don't have to have us in chattel slavery anymore. We offering ourselves up as slaves, man. Every day when we, we got a social security, we get up and go to work every day, all day. All right? So, hey, man, we, we, we still in, we still in, sla we still in uh, slavery, man, as we speak, as Baruch ch uh, chapter 3 said, verse 8. Hey, man, we subject to payments, man. Okay? So it's clear that this dream was a goddamn nightmare, man. Okay? It was a, it was a nightmare, man. Okay? Let's see if I got another scripture for you before I get out of here. All right? Hey, go to, go to Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1. Right. And this is going to explain to you how, hey, what the Lord hey, wanted for us, man. Right. It say warnings, man. And when you go into that word warnings is the heading for Deuteronomy chapter seven. All right. It, warning. When you go in there, it, it means uh, what? To shine a light, man. Right. And when you shine that light, you shine a light into what it is it, into darkness, man. And that light is what? Truth. All right, and that truth is who? Yeah, how about Shimi How Shai, man? Okay, it says Deuteronomy chapter seven verse one: When the Lord thy God or Lord thy power shall bring thee into the land whether thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites, all right, and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hevites and the Jebusites. Seven other seven nations greater and mightier than thou. All right, and this was before we was about to uh, enter into that land of milk and honey. All right, which was the land of Israel, man, the land of Canaan. Okay. Hey, Moses was giving us instructions. Okay, on how to deal with these other nations that was in our, that was in the land already. Okay, verse two said, and when the Lord thy power shall deliver them before thee. Thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Hey, the Lord, this is this is the Lord. They, they try to say the Lord is 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 uh all oh, this this loving God. Yeah, he's loving, all right? But he's a terrible God as well, too. Hey, to the other nations and to the uh ungodly. It says this: to smite them and utterly destroy them. It says, Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor assure no mercy unto them. Right? So the Lord is telling us, don't make no covenant with them. Okay, but what did what did this devil do, uh, Martin Luther the King? Right, he made a covenant with them, man, just like in the Maccabees times, right? And ultimately, what he made a covenant with death, man, right, by assimilating our people, all right, into that burning house. Okay, it says verse three: Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, right? Don't join hands with these people, man. Not even with their wives. It says, 
the daughter, thy, thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son, right? That goes for that, uh, the little white boys should be playing with the white, white boys, black boys, and the black boys should be playing with the white boys and, you know, so forth and so forth. You know that I have a dream speech, right? It says, verse four, this is the point. For they will turn away the son, thy son, from following me that they might serve other powers, right? And that's exactly what happened. Hey, that's exactly what happened when we integrated into this America system, man. Right? And we wanted to mix and mingle with these other nations. Guess what? Hey, they turned uh, uh they turned us away from serving the Lord, man. Okay? Read on it says, So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. And that's exactly what happened, man, to us as a people. All right? Like I said, the Lord, the Lord ain't caused us to be a holy people amongst above all the other nations of the earth. But here it is. We fighting to be equal with somebody else, man. We ain't going to be equal. And hey, this is this kingdom. Hey, the, the scriptures say in Job 9 to 24, the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4, man. Esau, Edom. All right. That's our enemies, man. All right. Jump down to verse six. It says, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. It said, the Lord thy power have uh, uh, chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Right. But we want to be equal. Right. That's it, man. Verse seven said, the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord, uh, Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath, right, which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out of the mighty, with a mighty hand, right, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, Right. From the hand of Pharaoh of, the, of Egypt, right? Right? And, and what is America known as, man? Right? Sodom and Egypt, man. Right? And, and why is it known for, for, for Sodom? Because of his uh, LGBTQ uh, type of uh, activities, man. Right? No different than how Sodom and Gomorrah was. And you can tell it's Egypt, man. Look on the back of your dollar, man. Okay? Hey, this devil, Martin Luther the King, he knew that. Okay? So we got to beware of these false prophets, man, as the scriptures told us to beware of. All right? <clears throat> Let me see. Let me get one more. Get Jeremiah 23, verse 1. Yeah. Yep, Jeremiah 23, verse 1 says this. It said, it says what? Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord Power Yahweh. All right? And, and, and that's what these pastors do, man. They destroy and scatter the sheep, man. If you ain't gathering, you scattering, man. Right? And how did he scatter, man? By through, 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 like I say, through that integration, man. He scattered us and mixed and mingled us, and with this devil, man. He 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 helped he helped uh, 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 integrate us into this into this house, man. This burning house. It says, verse two. Therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold. I will visit upon the evil of your doings, said the Lord, right? And, and that's what's going to happen, man. And the Lord visited him, and guess how he visited him? And he put that man to death, right? He put that man to death. It was time to go. All right? 
And that goes for you, all you other false prophets out there, man, uh, uh, as well, too, man, in Israel. Okay? All right? What? <clears throat> so with that, that's it for me right now, man. I'm going to uh, give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakadash. All right? And a Baba Ball, man.